When you buy a yoga paddle board you're making a smart choice, my friend, these things rock. A few weeks ago I was stretching my groin in the regular downward dog position when it suddenly hit me, it would be far more fun to do paddle board yoga. Paddleboard yoga is one of the top 16 alternative forms of yoga, it's also the coolest paddleboard yoga, which is basically doing yoga while riding a paddleboard is probably the most fun way of exercising both body and mind, though these healthy hobbies are great too, I love the beach. And I do yoga at least 3 times a week. But nothing could have prepared me for what happened when I combined my love of the beach with my love of yoga. Then it happened, I bought a yoga paddle board and went, er, yoga paddle boarding. And oh my days, I cannot tell you how much yoga paddle boarding has done for my inner zen. I'm thrilled to tell you guys all about it. That's why I'm going to talk to you all about yoga paddle boarding, the benefits of it, and why you should buy a yoga paddle board. And I'll help you choose a yoga paddle board to buy, too. But don't sweat it, I understand. If the idea of doing yoga while paddleboarding seems insane, no worries. Paddleboard yoga isn't for the faint of heart. It's for people with spunk. If that's you, carry on reading. Before you buy a yoga paddleboard, here's the deal buying a paddle for free yoga is basically the best choice you'll ever make. Paddleboard yoga is basically the best thing to happen to yoga since Patanjali wrote the Yoga Sutra. That's an exaggeration obviously, but paddleboard yoga is so good almost too good, and honestly, it just might be the future of yoga. Oh yeah, it's also great for you. But let's hit rewind and get back to basics. Just what is paddleboard yoga? Paddleboard yoga is an art form, yes, art form. It says that on Wikipedia, one, so you know it's like practically gospel at this point, paddleboard yoga is an art form. It's the art form of doing yoga while also doing stand-up paddle surfing, sup, but what the heck is sup, sup, stand-up paddle boarding is an emerging sport that began life in Hawaii, home of board sports, the locals call it Hauhei Nalu. They started paddle boarding so they could see from a higher viewpoint than the surface of the water. Probably the best thing about paddle boarding is that you get a beautiful view of the ocean. You've been canoeing and surfing, right? Well stuff is like a midway point between those two. Stand up paddleboard yoga is the beautiful and skillful art of doing paddleboarding and then doing yoga poses at the same time. You will probably fall over. So start with basic asanas for paddleboard yoga you have to be pretty darn skillful to do yoga poses while balancing on a paddleboard. I fell off a good few times before I got the hang of it. Hell, we can't all be Andrea Paolo Sanchez, but here's the good news, paddleboard yoga can be quite easy, just follow a good paddleboarding yoga guide. Here's one on aisle surfing's up. And, of course buy a yoga paddleboard that rocks, not convinced. Check out these paddleboard yoga benefits, the benefits of paddleboard yoga are seriously impressive. It is great for positivity, see our guide to using yoga for positivity, paddleboard yoga relaxes the mind as you spend time at the beach it connects you with nature, which is proven to reduce anxiety, depression and other conditions, it is a great exercise for balance and coordination he found that paddleboard yoga improves yoga performance because it acts as a refresher. It gets you to think about asanas in new ways. Paddleboard yoga is good for the skin, hair, and lungs because of the fresh air of the ocean. Paddleboard yoga is great for cardio. Stand Up Journal, too, says, Stand Up Paddling offers an incredible cardio workout and helps relieve stress. The most often mentioned health benefit of this sport is the improvement to one's core. With an easy learning curve, SUP is an excellent choice for improving your overall fitness, no matter what shape you're in now. So put simply, you are going to get a lot out of paddleboard yoga, how to buy a yoga paddleboard so it's obvious now that you would be an idiot not to buy a yoga paddleboard, but how do you buy a yoga paddleboard that rocks? Well, the yoga paddleboard buying guide I'm about to share should help, right? Yoga paddleboards are a little bit different to traditional paddleboards, a yoga paddleboard should be good for both general boarding and yoga. I tried it on a regular paddleboard and ended up splat in the water. 
a regular board is just too thin. To do paddleboard yoga you're going to need a wide paddleboard, one you can stretch out on. You want to feel stable, especially if you're in the ocean and not just in a pool. A good yoga sup will be wide and will offer excellent support. It should be sturdy when you're on it and you should be able to get into yoga poses without feeling too wobbly. This is especially important if you're looking for yoga sup for beginners. Considerations when buying a yoga paddleboard Let me give you a few pointers to help you buy a yoga paddleboard. Hull type Because you want a sup yoga board that is stable in the water, you typically want a planning hull. There are sturdier so you won't be getting soaking wet all the tin. Maximum weight Obviously you are going to need a board that can hold your own weight but you also need a little bit more than that. I like to take a yoga mat with me, and some friends of mine like taking their dogs. If you want to do that, you need to account for the additional weight. So always plan a little heavier than you think you need. Board length the average paddle boards are somewhere from 9 to 12 feet, which is an ideal length of subboard for most people. Naturally, if you are very tall, you will want to have a longer board so you have the length to actually do your yoga poses. Materials It used to be that all subboards were made of polyester or epoxy resin. Recently, a lot of people have started to favor the inflatable yoga subboards. Because they are inflatable, they have more buoyancy. This can be a big deal because it means you are higher above the water and less prone to getting splashed. Plus, if you like to travel with your subboard a lot, an inflatable one will be much more manageable. The best yoga subs to buy are paddle co 10 feet 8 inches. Active paddle board The 10 feet 8 inches active yoga paddle board is a beauty designed board that is premium through and through. It is thick enough, 5.9, to provide excellent support and is sturdy and solid. Because it is so sturdy, you will easily be able to do your favorite yoga asanas on it, unlike many other boards which lack sturdiness and therefore make it too easy to fall off. The package comes with a cup pump, water-resistant phone case, and a backpack that makes it easy to carry when you travel. Get it on Amazon Tower Paddle Boards, Adventurer ISUP Package 9 feet 10 inches This paddle board is not specifically marketed for yoga paddle boarding, but it is a very high quality make that you can rely on. Plus, you get a 2-year manufacturer's warranty just in case. What makes this yoga paddle board so enticing is its military-grade PVC construction. It's very durable and unlike lots of other boards, it will stay in decent condition, you won't scuff it. It is also arguably the most buoyant of all yoga paddle boards. When you ride this beauty you will feel like you're gliding like an eagle. If you're a beginner paddle board yogi, you'll be happy to hear that because this board is side and sturdy you will be more likely to stay on. Get it on Amazon Advanced Elements Lotus YSUP Inflatable Yoga Subboard This stand-up paddleboard was specifically deigned for yoga and is a dirty ride that will keep you balanced throughout your yoga session. It's 10 inches long by 32 inches wide and had 6 inches of top stitch material. Officially, this board is intended for up to 200 pounds but it is known to be able to take more weight than that, manufacturers like to play it safe with weight estimates so you don't sink. A nice feature on this yoga sup is the removable shoulder carry strap that makes it easy to travel with. Speaking of traveling, this board is light and compact, so it is definitely one of the most easy yoga sups to get around with. Get it on Amazon Zo, which yoga sup did you buy? The three yoga paddle boards that we've looked at above are all excellent. If you love the design or feel of one of them, get it. You will definitely be made.